fast paced, super go, 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 push the button, push the button, where you push it, I don't know, games. <laughs> Now's it, go in everybody, my name's Sugar Cat, and welcome back to Will You Push The Button, the big red shiny button, and my voice has been squeaking lately. I like these really, really fast paced games because you can go, 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 and figure out what am I gonna do? You can see the future, but you can't change how or when people, including you, will die and have to live with that knowledge. It would be great, it would be fun, but I would not for the sheer fact that if I knew when I was gonna die, I would just dread that day every single day and would be miserable. It'd be terrible, 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 terrible. You can bring back to life any one person of your choice from all of history, but they will follow you around like a lost puppy even to the bathroom. I'm not sure who I'd bring back. There's probably a few people who would be really interesting, like Einstein would be interesting. Uh, Lenin would be not like Russian Lenin, but Beetle Lenin. Um, no, I think a few people we kind of need to meet, but I wouldn't want them like hanging out in the bathroom with me. Like I wouldn't want Hitler hanging up my bathroom and being like, "Oh, it's what are you doing in the bathroom?" I'd be like, "I'm taking a piss, Hitler. Go away." Um, no, no, I don't want that. I don't want Hitler hanging up my bathroom watching me piss. You'll be happy for the rest of your life, but you lose every material thing forever, and you'll be homeless and poor. Stuff you gain will always be destroyed within seconds. No, because certain things make me happy. I guess you can be homeless and happy. It's possible because you're happy with what you have and material possessions don't matter to you. Um, no, no, I won't do that. I don't, I don't want to be having things and have them blow up my face. That'd be terrible. You can interpret, read, and write all languages, but you are now mute. Um, no, because, because if I couldn't talk, that would be terrible. I couldn't do this. I couldn't go, whoa, 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 whoa. I couldn't talk at all. Oh my God, it'd be terrible. You can be happy together with the person you love and who loves you, but he or she will always cheat on you. No, that'd be terrible. Oh my god. You will never have to eat, drink, or breathe again. All food will taste like uncooked Brussels sprouts and every liquid will taste like olive oil. That's fine. I love olive oil. I put it in almost everything. And Brussels sprouts are amazing. Fry them up. You boy, boil them first. Fry them up. A little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper. Um, yeah, just maybe a little bit of sriracha and some, and some soy in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're doing that one. Yeah, uh, 51%? It's pretty much half and half, that's crazy. Brussels sprouts are good, Brussels sprouts are delicious. You have your own TV show, but you have to use it for education of some kind and don't get paid for having it. Uh, yeah, yeah, education. Teach the kids how to rule the world. Um, most people would not do it? That's kind of interesting. You become immortal and can travel through time, but you can only go forward in time. It'd be impossible to turn to your own time since you can't go backwards in time. That would only be good for so long because time's gonna end eventually. Well, I guess farther in the future, we're gonna have like spaceships that can go to the edge of the universe. Because when the sun blows up and destroys the earth, there's not gonna be an earth anymore. But uh, I guess, yeah, I guess we could use our future technology to maybe transverse universes and go to different universes. And maybe there'll be another earth there. Maybe there'll be another earth with the same timeline. And then you'll be back on this timeline. And then you'll be like, whoopee, I'm back in the same timeline. And then you can go forward again. And yeah, 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 we're going to use my rational brain noodle th way of thinking that we're going to do that. 56%, yes. Gain knowledge of everything, but forget everything you already know. Your name, age, parents, friends, and you can never go back. No, this brain's full of crap, and I can't get rid of them right now. You can do any drugs you want with no bad side effects. But you cannot watch any TV or movie shows for the rest of your life. Why would I do that? Yeah, I'd like to take this coke, but I can't do anything fun forever. That's crazy. I wouldn't do that at all. You can turn invisible and back at will, but you can't see while invisible. What's the point of that? The whole point of being invisible, well, I guess if someone's trying to mug you or something, you can be like, whoop, whoop, and go invisible. But that's about the only thing it's good for. You have to see where you're going. No, that's crazy. The point of becoming invisible is to see where you're going, so you don't fall off a building by accident. You never get fat, but you never feel full. Oh no. No, I never feel full now, and it's a terrible feeling. I'm always wanting to eat things. You can make anyone you desire fall in love with you forever, but your closest family member will despise you forever. Uh, sure. <laughs> it's, it's fine. You meet Santa Claus, but no one believes you. Fuck it. Fuck them. I met Santa Claus, and that's all that matters. I know I met Santa Claus. I picked Will Not. I meant to pick Will Do. I picked Will Do in my head. You guys know I picked Will Do. I'm just crazy. You get to be on the cast of your favorite show, but you have to play your least favorite character. Sure, because I'm probably on my favorite show, which is awesome. You are Gordon Freeman, but the apocalypse in the Half-Life series happens in five years. Uh, 
yeah, Gordon Freeman was super, super smart, and he was awesome, and he didn't get the crowbar until later on, but he was still smart, and he probably made a lot of money doing what he did. You can transform into an animal with your choosing and back again at a whim. You retain your mental abilities in your animal form, though you're unable to speak or manipulate human appliances, but you must keep this ability a closely guarded secret, as failure to do so will cause you to be the subject of much scrutiny and scientific investigation. If anyone catches you in the transformation process, they will almost certainly shoot you on sight. Your presence in areas which are not normally inhabited by exotic animals will cause the majority of human population to be suspicious of you and possibly attempt to capture you. Holy crap. But it's an animal of my choosing. So depending on what area you're in, like just change into a, a random house cat in an alleyway where no one's around. That's fine. No one will see me transform into a random animal. I'll be smart about it. And then I can like, I can turn into like an ant and sneak onto a plane and go like away into like South America or something. But I'd probably be eaten by some sort of weird jungle animal. Yeah, but it was to be cool. It'd be cool to do that. I like that. You get to live in a cool adventure video game, but as an NPC. No, NPCs just stand there and they're like, would you like some gold today? How about you fetch me some of them bear asses out there, like 10 bear asses and I'll give you two gold. That's not a good life. I don't like that. You get anything you want in an hour for free, but the shipping and handling is always $200 no matter whether it be a computer or a book. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, I'll pay $200 for a giant computer system. That's fine. I'll do that. Why wouldn't anybody do that? There is world peace for an infinite period of time, but The Simpsons never existed. As much as I like The Simpsons, that's cool. I'll do that. The Simpsons has run its course anyway, I think. It's, 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 yeah. Choose anything to happen. This includes miracles and doomsdays, but you have to deal with your worst fear and you never get over it. No. My worst fears are not good. Get unfriend zoned, but she or he never really loves you. She or he married you because they felt bad. No, no. You don't want sympathy love. That's terrible. Would be you would you would be would you be the hardest person in the world, but be only able to pick up the ugliest people ever? No, no. Well, I'm not saying the ugly people are terrible people. I just want more options. Like I want options for everybody. I can pick who I want. You will become the most charismatic and smooth talking person ever, but you must embarrass and ruin your chances with whoever you are romantically interested in. No, that's terrible too. I could be like a, hey baby, you wanna come back to my place? I, I got a collection of jars of, of spit in my house. And then, th what's the point of that? Like, you can be smooth all you want, but if you've got jars of spit in your house, you ain't gonna come over. You'll be able to turn invisible, walk through solid objects, and teleport to any location within eyesight once a day for three. Once a day for three. But every time you do so, you will lose a cherished memory and forget everything you did the last time you used your powers. You will lose a memory. I can't talk today. Um, no, no, wait, no, cherished memories. I like my cherished memories. You become a god, but your mortal body dies. Well, if I'm a god, I can just make another mortal body, can't I? Yeah, trick question. Yeah, you get to transform into any animal you want anytime you want, but you'll never have fur, scales, feathers, nothing to cover your skin or pelt. I'd be like a naked mole rat or one of them weird Egyptian cats. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd just be a naked cat. That's, that's fine. You can travel through time, but your lifespan is decreased by a year each time. Ooh. No. I'd burn through that so fast, I'd be dead in an hour. Um. No. No. Yeah, I'd be terrible. I'd be terrible with that. You would get $10,000 and every single Yu-Gi-Oh card every may ever made, but you have to swallow a bucket of sand. No. I think that would kill you. Not all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the world are worth a bucket of sand. You are world famous, but everyone pronounced your name wrong. My name is Thorne Ha. No, that's 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 not how you say my name. Uh, your name is Sugarki. No, 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 no. No, that'd be um, yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. You have an amazing singing voice. Ah, but only when you sing in Japanese. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't. No, I will not. I I can't. I can't, I can't even speak Japanese. I know like two Japanese words, and that's not gonna hit me very far. Be able to jump tall buildings in a single bound, or have regular strength knees. Ooh, when you land, your knees are gonna explode. No, I wouldn't do that. If you're able to jump over tall buildings, don't your knees gonna be strong anyway? That doesn't even make sense. You can stop time, do whatever you want, but once you turn it back, you forget what you did. Ooh, no. What's the point of that? There's no point in stopping it if you forget what you did anyways. You get a thousand every day for the rest of your life, 
but you can only use internet one day a week. No! Craziness. You can kill anyone, but that person's ghost will chase you. No, I don't want spooky ghosts chasing me, it's terrible. You are the one that discovers the way for faster than light travel, allowing humans to travel to the stars, but the discovery results in your death. I'm very selfish about that. It'll be nice, but I like me. Me's nice. No, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. All right. We will leave this video here. Weekends are kind of funny for me. I work a lot of like back shift hours, so I really like these like fast paced super go, 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 go. Push a button, push a button. Will you push it? I don't know. Games. <laughs> That's, that rhymes somehow. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like button down below. Keep being amazing, guys, and keep being awesome. And I will see all of you in the next video.